Now we are discussing about the ripple factor. As the name indicates, this factor tells what is the percentage of the ripple in the output of a rectifier. So we have seen the full wave rectifier and half wave rectifier. We have calculated the RMS values and DC values. Now we are calculating the ripple factor value. This ripple factor value, this ripple factor is indicated with gamma. This ripple factor tells what is the AC value, output AC by output DC. So VAC by VDC or we can also write IAC by IDC. What is the AC value? We know already DC value but we have not calculated the AC value particularly. This AC value is nothing but the ripple RMS value. We know the RMS value. V RMS value. V RMS square can be written as the ripple RMS square plus average value VDC square. So here V R RMS square is equal to V R M S square minus V D C square. So V R M S is equal to root over V R M S square minus V D C square. Similarly, I R M S is equal to root over I R M S square minus I D C square. Right. So we can calculate either the voltage AC component in the rectified output by voltage DC component or the current AC component by current DC component. Both the values if we calculate the same ripple factor value will be found. I have taken the current I AC. For the half wave rectifier now we are calculating the ripple factor. So I AC is equal to I RMS square minus I DC square by I DC. So this is equal to I RMS square. For the half wave rectifier I RMS is I M by 2. So I M square by 4 minus I DC square value. I DC square V M by pi whole square. So this is equal to V M square by pi square by Vm by pi uh, Im by pi because we are calculating the current so this is Im by pi now two square uh, it is nothing but four Im square terms will be cancelled root over 1 by 4 minus 1 by pi square by 1 by pi. This is equal to pi square minus 4 by 4 pi square by 1 by pi. This pi, this pi will be cancelled. So here the resultant is root over pi, pi minus pi square minus 4 by 2 root over pi square means the value is nearly 10 10 minus 4 root 6 by 2 it is almost 1.21 this is the ripple factor for the half wave rectifier now we are calculating the ripple factor for the full wave rectifier IRMS value for the full wave rectifier is IM square by 2 IDC value is 2 IM by pi whole square. IM square by root 2 square means 2. By IDC value 2 IM by pi. The term IM will be cancelled. So this is equal to 1 by 2 minus 4 by pi square by 2 by pi. This is equal to pi square minus 8 by 2 pi square by 2 by pi. 
this pi pi square will be cancelled. So this is equal to pi square minus 8 by 2 root 2. The value is 0 0.48. So 1.21 is greater than 0 0.48. The ripple factor value of full wave rectifier is much lesser than the ripple factor value of half wave rectifier. So this Ripple factor component tells the output of the full wave rectifier is with the high value of DC compared to the output value of half wave rectifier. So ripple factor is defined as the ratio of AC component to the DC component. The ripple component, what is the percentage of the ripple component in the output can be represented by using the ripple factor. So it can be written either by voltage AC by voltage DC or current AC by current DC. The voltage AC is nothing but the ripple RMS value. The ripple RMS value is nothing but it is the square root of V RMS square minus V DC square. The ripple current value is the square root of I RMS square minus I DC square. This is about the ripple factor.